欢迎各位同学收看今天的课程。今天我们要讲的是第十八章。第十八章的主题是 Revision of Resume, CV and Review， 就是修订电影评论和简历。我们今天很高兴的呢，邀请到了 Taylor 老师。Hello everyone, I'm Taylor。而且我们也邀请到两位同学，一位是 Tiffany 同学。Hello, I'm Tiffany。还有 Laura 同学。Hi, I'm Laura。And for this final chapter, we will again put your skills to the test. You will look at a movie review and a resume and analyze them to see what they have done well and where they can be improved. For this unit, we will only be discussing the movie review, and the resume is for you to do on your own. 好，今天呢是我们的最后一章哦。那我们在最后一章中呢，主要呢是要讲的呢是要修订这个电影的评论还有简历。那看看他们有哪些地方写的好，哪些地方写的不好，那是不是有什么要改进的地方？那我们课本上呢有两个例子，一个呢是你的简历，一个呢是电影的评论。那简历这个呢，因为比较简单，所以我们是让大家回去做作业。那我们在这里呢讲的是电影的。So we'll start with some things to look for when you're analyzing a movie review. Number one, does the writer hook the reader in the opening sentence or only provide the facts? Number two, does the first paragraph provide a thorough and appropriate introduction? Did they forget any information? Number three, in the body paragraphs, how well did they use descriptive words? Did they paint a clear picture, or was it confusing? Which words or phrases describe it successfully, or which were confusing? Number four. Did the conclusion paragraph provide a clear overall opinion? Is the opinion in line with the body paragraphs? Number five, be sure to correct any grammar issues, run-on sentences, punctuation, and use of phrases introduced in the book. 好，那我们在修订这些评论的时候要注意些什么事情呢？第一个，我们要看看这个作者他开头的这个句子呢，是不是能够吸引读者，还是他只是提供一些事实？然后再来看看呢，他第一段呢是否有提供一个完整的或是适当的来介绍？那是否忘记了一些讯息？那第三段呢，在正文的这个段落里面呢，他们使用的这个描述性的这个词语的程度是怎么样？那他们的这个画面，他们组成的这个画面，你看得很清楚吗？还是说你觉得嗯非常的困惑？那哪一些单词呢，或是哪一些片语呢，是用得很成功，能够描述它？那哪一些呢，让你很困惑？然后第四点，我们要提到的是在这个结论的这个段落，是否有提供明确的一个？总体的意见，那这个意见呢，跟你以前的那个正文的段落的意见有没有一致？好，第五个呢，要看的是确保或更正你中间呢有没有一些文法上面的问题，譬如说有一些连写句啦等等，或是标点符号啦，那把它稍微更正一下，或是订正一下。Let's take a look at the first paragraph of the model movie review.、Uh, can you please read this for us, Tiffany? 好，接下来我们就来看第一个示范。Tiffany 同学，你帮我们念一下。Okay. Enchanted is a romantic musical film, and the main hosts are Amy Adams, Patrick Dempsey, James Marsden, Timothy Spall, and many other famous movie stars. It is based on Disney's Princess, and the beginning of the movie is in the animated fairy tale. The kingdom of Andalusia. Prince Edward is going to marry Giselle, but the stepmother is not happy with giving her throne after their marriage. Then she decided to put Giselle into the real world, New York. The story starts with Giselle's new life in the big city. Manhattan 奇缘是一部浪漫的音乐电影，主人翁是艾美 Adams, Patrick Dempsey. 还有 James Marsden， 还有 Timothy Spall， 和许多其他很著名的电影明星。他以迪士尼公主为基础，然后电影的开头是，呃，动画童话故事，呃，安达拉西亚王国。然后主人翁就是那个 Giselle， 他要跟 Giselle 结婚，但继母呢，对于结婚后要把王位给他继承很不满意，所以就决定将。吉塞尔放入现实，然后把它丢到纽约
。那这个故事就是吉塞尔在这个大城市的新生活。Okay, let's examine this with the tools and skills we have acquired. 好，那接下来我们就要开始用我们学过的技巧来检查刚刚这篇文章。刚刚那篇文章其实是同学写的，不是完美的文章哦。那我们现在来看看它有什么地方可以改善的。The first sentence is Enchanted is a romantic musical film, and the main hosts are Amy Adams, Patrick Dempsey, James Marsden, Timothy Spall, and many other famous movie stars. To begin with, the first sentence has the word hosts. In it, when the author probably means actors, the author should have mentioned the director as well. So, 第一个呢，当作者在里面写那个 host 主持人这个字的意思的时候，他其实可能想要写的是 actors， 就是演员这个字。然后啊，作者也应该要提到导演。So the correct sentence should be 正确的句子应该要像下面这样。Enchanted is a romantic musical film, and the main actors are Amy Adams, Patrick Dempsey, James Marsden, Timothy Spall, and many other famous movie stars.、Uh, the wrong sentence is: It is based on Disney's princess, and the beginning of the movie is in the animated fairy tale *The Kingdom of Andalusia*. And I would change to about. Two. It is about Disney princess, and the beginning of the movie is in the animated fairy kingdom of Andalusia. In the second sentence, I would say it is about instead of it is based on. Also, I would move the comma and the word the before the kingdom. 在第二句话里面，我会说它是关于，而不是它是基于，而且我也会把王国之前的逗号还有的一起一起去掉。The next sentence has、uh, just a minor issue, and it reads: "The stepmother is not happy with giving her throne after their marriage."、Uh, it would sound better if the stepmother is not happy with giving up her throne after their marriage. 很好，张这最后这句话呢，它有一个小小的缺点，就是说呢，放弃王位应该是 giving up， 要多加上那个 up 这个字。Okay, so for the next sentence, the author originally writes, "Then she decided to put Giselle into the real world, New New York." 然后这句话应该要改成下面这样比较好 Then she decides to put Giselle into the real world, New York. In the next to last sentence, the author changed to past simple when it should be in present simple, like the rest of the paragraph. 这句话，所以要改的地方就是，它原本写成过去简单式，但其实呢，它应该必须用现在式来写。Exactly.、Uh, additionally, if we look back to the first sentence, it also doesn't really hook the reader, unless the author is trying to do so with the choice of cast members. 好，那刚刚说的很好。那我们来看看我们这个在 PowerPoint 上面的这个第一句话。你看看这第一句话，它其实并不能够吸引我们这些读者的注意力。为什么呢？因为他就写了一些事实，而且他写了一大堆演员这样子。除非我们这个作者他真的想法是说，哎、欸，我的这个演员非常重要。你看看这么多演员来吸引我们的读者，说哦，这演员太太大咖了，我们一定要选这些演员。你看看多重要这样。除非是这样，否则他的第一句话其实并没有吸引到读者。I think the introduction is pretty good and does not give away any spoiler. 我认为这个简介还蛮不错的，也不会剧透。Yeah, I actually quite agree. Now let's look at the first body paragraph, Laura. 好，那我们现在就来看看我们的这个 body paragraph， 就是我们的内文的部分。Okay. As the background of New York City, it certainly has a strong contrast to the kingdom that Giselle once lived. Moreover, with the place without happy ever after, there is not a big surprise to see a girl who dressed like a princess. The romance between Giselle and the guy she meets in real life, Robert, is very deep and touchable. She falls in him, and this also shows it is not always to fall in the perfect guy, even he is a prince. It is all about the true one. Um. 这个稍微翻译一下，他说，作为背景的纽约市，他与吉塞尔曾经生活过的王国形成了很鲜明的对比。而且啊，在一个没有永远幸福的地方，他可以看到一个像公主一样打扮的女孩，就不足为奇了
。那吉塞尔和他在现实生活中遇到的罗伯特之间的恋情也非常的深刻，而且动人。他爱上了这个男孩，那这也表示即使他是王子。也不一定总是那个完美的男人，所以爱上的不一定是完美的男人，一切都是有关于真爱。Okay, immediately the first sentence has some structure issues. 好，那我们刚刚看第一句话，马上我们就可以看到这句文法上面的问题。Uh, it reads as as the background of New York City, it certainly has a strong contrast to the kingdom that Giselle once lives. Uh, a better way to phrase this would be: the landscape of New York is certainly much different to the kingdom where Giselle once lived. Uh, additionally, we could also rewrite it as: everything about New York is quite different from the kingdom where Giselle is from. Yeah, I would reword it to: the landscape of New York is certainly much different to the kingdom where Giselle once lived. 我也想要将它改写为：纽约的风景。与吉塞尔曾经住过的王国肯定有很大的不同。Yes, or I might have written it. Everything about New York is quite different from the kingdom where Giselle is from, to keep it in present tense. 然后我可能会写成关于纽约的一切都与吉塞尔所在的国家完全不同，然后让它保持都是用现在式的时态。For the next sentence, the student incorrectly wrote, "Moreover, with the place without happy ever after, there is not a big surprise to see a girl who dressed like a princess." Uh, this could have been changed to, "Moreover, in this place with no open quote happily ever after close quote, it is no shock to see a girl dressing like a fairy tale princess." 好，那我们在下一句话中呢，我们就稍微把它改变一下，改变了什么呢？ In this place, 在这个地方 with no, 然后后面再接下去写，它这是什么呢？就是说，在这个没有永远幸福的日子的这个地方，然后看到一个女孩呢，穿着像童话般的这样的公主服，也就不足为奇了。The next sentence, the student wrote, the romance between Giselle and the guy she meets in real life, Robert, is very deep and touchable. Uh, the sentence is mostly fine, but we need to change the word "touchable" to "touching," so it should read,、uh, "The romance between Giselle and the guy she meets in real life, Robert, is very deep and touching." 好，那我们呢？这下一个句子呢也写的还不错。它唯一要改的地方呢，就是这个 touchable 要变成 touching。touching 是感人的，意思是不大一样的。啊， touchable 是可以触摸的，好，意思不一样，所以要改成 touching。In the sentence after that, it should read "She falls in love" or "She falls for him." 在那之后的句子里面呢，应该写为她坠入爱河 ，She falls in love， 或是她为她坠入爱河 ，She falls for him. Good. And the rest of the sentence is a bit confusing. I'm guessing the author meant, and this also shows that you don't always fall in love with the perfect guy. Even Robert is a prince in his own right. 好，那他的下面这个句子其实是有点混乱。那我们得猜测一下作者他到底要表达什么。那可能是表达说，这也表示说你并不总是爱上完美的男人。即使呢，这个罗伯特呢，他是一位王子，他也并不是完美的男人。And the last sentence should be: It's all about the right one, or it's all about true love. 然后最后一句话呢，应该写成。重要的是选择真真爱 ，right one， 或是一切都是关于真爱 ，true love. These are all helpful critiques.、Uh, let's move on to the next paragraph, Tiffany. 好，这些呢都是有很好的评论哦。那我们接下来看下一段。What makes this movie special is that its self-marking part. The movie is production of Disney, and it's kind of mocking traditional stories about princes and princesses. On the other hand, it shows that people's expectations and praise of fairy tales. The part that the prince says, "I don't know what melodramatic means, but he is." In addition, Giselle once complains all people in real life is mean and cold to her. Robert replies that "Welcome to New York." These ironically scenes make a lot of fun in the movie. 
。使这部电影与众不同是它的自我嘲讽部分。这部分电影是 Disney 的作品，并且模仿了有关王子和公主的传统故事。那另一方面呢，它表明人们对童话的期待还有赞美。王子就说的那一部分。哦，我不知道 melodramatic 就是戏剧性夸张这个东单字是什么意思，但它是。另外，吉塞尔曾经抱怨现实生活中所有人对他都是卑鄙而且很冷漠的。那 Robert 罗伯特就回答说：“欢迎来到纽约。”具有讽刺意味的是，这些场面在电影中都很有趣。Okay, there's a lot to sift through on this one. 好，那这篇呢，光是念起来，大家都觉得很困难哦。就是这篇其实有很多要修改的地方。Yes, for example, the first sentence goes, "What makes this movie special is that it's self-mocking part." 嗯、um, ，这边 "it's self-mocking part" 有点错，正确的句子应该写成 "What makes this movie special is that it is self-mocking." So, for this part, 它必须改成 "it is self-mocking." And the next sentence goes. On the other hand, it shows that people's expectations and praise of fairy tales. 那这一句是错的句子。那对的句子呢，应该要改成是、um, On the other hand, it shows what people expect from and love about fairy tales. 就是翻译来讲呢，就是人们对于童话的期待。Yes, and the sentence after it, what、um, originally it is, I don't know what melodramatic means, but he is. This sentence is not good. It would better read, for example, the part when the prince says, "I don't know what melodramatic means," comma, when at the same time he is being just that. 那这里的句子呢，可以重新写成。举例而言，当王子说“我不知道戏剧性是什么意思”的时候，这就同时代表他表现得很戏剧性。Very good, and you picked up on the punctuation mistake. The comma should appear inside the quotes and should not be combined with a period. 很好，刚才同学也注意到标点符号也有错误的地方啊。这个逗号呢，应该放在引号里面，然后呢，逗号后面也不应该有一个句号，这两者不能同时使用的。And、uh, the next sentence originally is Giselle once complains all people in real life is mean and cold to her. So this sentence would make more sense grammatically if it said Giselle complains once that everyone in the real world is cold and mean to her. 就是这句话呢，应该要改成吉塞尔曾经抱怨现实中的每一个人都很冷漠，对她都很卑鄙。But after that, the sentence originally is Robert replies that "Welcome to New York." This sentence should just be rep Robert replies without that. 好，那下一个句子呢？就是在 Robert 的回答的时候，不用有 that 那个这个字。Next, we see the sentence saying these ironically scenes make a lot of fun in the movie. Um, this final sentence would be a bit better if it said, "These ironic scenes make the movie a lot of fun." 好，那我们最后一句话呢，就可以把改成这些讽刺的场面呢，使得电影是很有趣的。And I will read the conclusion. There are many scenes that I like and enchanted. My favorite one is Giselle singing and asking the little animals to help her cleaning. It reflects about Snow White. One of a classic fairy tales. This movie not only brings me expectations of happily ever after, but also a lot of enjoyment with the soundtracks. I always like princess series, and I recommend all the people had fascinates with fairy tales to watch this movie. 那我们来把这个结论稍微说一下，就是说我喜欢这个《曼哈顿起源》中的许多的场景。那我最喜欢的是这个女主角她唱歌，并且请小动物帮她打扫这个场景呢。它反映了白雪公主这样的一部经典的童话故事。那这个电影呢，不仅带给我从此以后幸福快乐的这种期望，那它的配乐呢也是非常的有趣的。那我一直喜欢公主系列呢，我也建议所有的人呢，对童话故事有兴趣的都去看这部电影。
So the first sentence, there are many scenes that I like in Enchanted. This sentence is pretty good and give the author's opinion about their fi the film. 第一句话还不错，就是可以表达作者对于电影的看法。Let's look at another sentence. My favorite one is Giselle singing and asking the little animals to help her cleaning. This sentence only has one small grammar mistake. You have to change cleaning to clean. Um, 接下来这个句子只有一个小小的文法错误，就是要把清洁 cleaning 这样的动名词改成 clean 清洁原形动词。那我们为什么要这样改呢？其实我们可以注意到，就是这个 help 这个动词，这个动词的后面是要接原形动词，而不是加 v i n g， 所以要改成原形动词。The sentence also reads, "It reflects about Snow White, one of a classic fairy tales."、Uh, this one should start with "It resembles Snow White" and should be changed to "one of the most iconic fairy tales." 好，那我们这个句子呢，应该把它这个 reflects 这个字改成什么呢？ Resembles 就是类似，它类似于白雪公主。那它是最具有 iconic iconic 这个字是标志性的这个童话故事之一。So now let's move on to the next sentence, which is this movie not only brings me expectations of happily ever after, but also a lot of enjoyment with the soundtracks. This sentence would sound better with This movie not only gives me the classic happily ever after, but the soundtrack does as well. I'm not sure if the writer wanted to say exactly that. 好，这个句子呢可以改成：这部电影不仅给我带来经典那种从此以后幸幸福快乐的那个概念，而且配乐也很棒。这样子听起来会更好。只不过我还是不太确定作者是不是想要表达这样的意思。Then maybe it could have two separate sentences. This movie gives me that feeling of happily ever after. I also really enjoy the soundtrack. 也许它可以就是变成两个单独的句子，就是这部电影给给了我从此过上幸福的感觉。那我也很喜欢原声带。Okay, so for the next sentence, I always like princess. Series, and I recommend all the people who have fascinated with fairy tales to watch this movie. The final sentence also needs some help. I will write it. I have always really liked princess stories, and I recommend this movie to everyone who is fascinated with fairy tales. 然后最后一句话也需要一点点修改。我会写成。我一直非常喜欢公主的故事，然后我向喜欢童话的每个人推荐这部电影。把那个句子的顺序稍微改顺一下。I think that is better too. So to the last question, the conclusion does give does give an overall opinion and fit together with the body paragraphs. 我蛮同意你们刚刚说的，因此对于最后一个问题，结论的确给出了总体的意见，并且与正文段落相吻合。Yes, I agree. However, the body paragraphs could have been a bit more descriptive. Also, like we learned in a few units from this course, there should have been a flow from one body paragraph to another.、Uh, it was not done so well in this model writing. 那很好，但是这个正文的段落可以显得更加有描述性一些。同样，就像我们以前学到的字。我们的段落跟段落之间应该有一些衔接的句子，可是这个范例里面我们看到它都没有这些衔接的句子啊。So you can use this unit to guide you in the review process. Remember, this is a good skill to be able to correct your own work as well as doing so to help someone with theirs. 好，大家经过刚才那样的评论的过程哦，那应该已经学会了怎么样的技巧，就是把这些评论的。步骤一个一个的做，这样子呢，你以后呢可以改你自己的评论，然后呢，你也可以帮助你的朋友改他们的评论哦。So now let's take a minute to review some of the key aspects of writing that exist along、um, all of the writing we've done in this book. 好，那这道学期的终了，那我们现在呢要来复习一下我们这整学期来学的东西。So,、uh, if you remember, we should also start to pre-write.、Um, Tiffany, Laura, can either of you remember what were the two types of pre-writing we mentioned in the book? 好，有关于 pre-writing， 还大家还记得我们说要做哪些吗 ？Pre-writing， 
um, maybe brainstorming or free writing? Very good. Actually, actually, it was both of those. So brainstorming lists or just rewriting um, all of your thoughts. Yep. Very good. And um, what are the three main sections of writing you will find, whether it's in an email or in a review or an essay? I would say introduction and body and also conclusion. Is that right? Yep, that's absolutely correct. Yep. And if you notice from the book, we saw those in almost every single chapter. Uh, now, although some of the details are different, but can you tell us what are the main ideas we should see in an introduction? 好,那首先我們都看到我們的introduction,引言的部分,大家還記得最主要的要講些什麼嗎?引言的部分 mm, The topic, uh, 主題, and the controlling idea, is that correct? Yep, that's absolutely correct. Uh, with those will tell us everything about what we're going to read for the following paragraph. Now I would also add in there, it's usually a good idea is to add some sort of hook. Uh, we want to get someone to be interested in what you're reading. 好,接下來很重要就是我們要有hook這個部分,就是要吸引大家的注意力,hook這個部分. Uh, can one remember what should every paragraph or body paragraph start with? 那大家記得嗎?我們的body paragraph,那應該用什麼來開始寫body paragraph,內文段落要寫什麼呢?開始. I think it, we, we, we will always start with the topic sentence, right? That is absolutely correct. And can you remember what are the two aspects that make a topic sentence? 一個好topic sentence, 大家記得嗎?要有哪兩個部分? Topic sentence要哪兩個部分? Is it the topic itself and also the controlling ideas? Absolutely, that's correct. Yep. Um, and then from there, we will have a bunch of supporting sentences. And those supporting sentences should relate back to both the topic and the controlling idea. If it's not, then we call it off topic. 好,接下來呢,我們就會講了很多的句子,這些句子都是supporting sentences,就是要支持我們的這個主題句的,那如果你沒有來支持這個主題句,那你就是怎麼樣,離題了,off topic. Now, also important is we should somehow connect the different paragraphs and show the relationship to each other. Do you remember how we do that? 接下来呢,我们就要把我们的段落跟段落衔接起来,要怎么样做这件事呢?衔接段落,怎么做呢? Maybe we can use some signal words. 可以用一些信号的那种字词, so that we can have smooth transition, 所以我们可以有比较顺的转换. Very good. Yep. And these are especially important so we can understand each paragraph's relationship to each other. Does it express a similar idea or something that continues a positive stance? Or does it show something which is on the opposite side of what we expected? 好,这些衔接的字词呢,可以让我们知道我们段落跟段落之间到底是讲相似的段落的意思呢,还是讲不同的段落的意思? And can anyone remember the main idea of a conclusion? 那我們的結論的主要該講些什麼?主要的結論應該講些什麼呢? I think just to wrap up all the body, what the their topic sentences. Yep. Should we restate the main idea? Yeah, no. I think so. Mm. All right, very good. All right, this brings us to the end of our online writing sessions. I want to thank both Tiffany and Laura for their assistance, and you both did an amazing job. 好,我們這個課程呢就到這裡結束,那我們非常謝謝兩位同學這學期來的幫忙這樣子,那也希望大家呢能夠在這個學期上面呢已經學到了你想需要學的有關於作文的技巧,謝謝大家,再見。